Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today I'm here with Hope from HamRadio.World. And Hope's going to show us a little bit about these boxes that her and her sisters create. So I'm um, so glad you took the time to talk with me today. And if you don't mind, will you walk us through some of these boxes that you guys create? Yeah, our business is called Shack in a Box because we wanted to basically incorporate your shack in a box that you can take out from, from your home shack and take it out to the field, whether for field day or for, um, for emergency responses because there's a lot of people into that with Aries or Racies. So that's kind of what we do is we build it to protect your gear. And this, we really like this box. Uh, because it has both an HF and a VHF UHF radio all in one is what we call it so that it's basically your entire shack minus your antenna um, and your power supply so we have that but then if you want a power supply and you want it just separated like maybe you're not into contesting on the HF bands but you might like to have um, satellite communication since it's dual band or something like that. Um, yeah, but this one basically is for those who don't want to carry the bigger box with your entire shack. You may want something specified, so we always try to incorporate something for everyone because you might not be into emergency communications where you need it all together, or you might even just be going for a command center to an EOC if you're into Aries or something like that. Then in the past, there have been people who need things separated. So that's what we have this for, and it has a battery built in the inside. Oh, cool. So this, so this one already one has, has a battery. power supply because there's room to do so, so we may as well because it's not super heavy. Right. Things start getting heavy, which is kind of what we've learned over the years is you'll need to include the kitchen sink right. if you're wanting to build your own or anything like that. Then it's something you, you learn very quickly. But you now the, these kits, are they include the radio, they include everything in the yes. box, right? Yeah, so we when build I, everything ready to plug and play, basically. Perfect. So, so when I get it, I can connect power to this one. I can connect up an antenna, yes. and I would be ready to go out and activate a park or yes. do an Aries activation. So you like to do you like to do park activations? Absolutely. There's actually, we have a few boxes, which I didn't get to, I didn't finish them to bring to the Hempfest. We call it a de-expedition in a box because it's, it's basically in a Pelican carry-on type case. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, a, it's like a suitcase. You can roll it with you and it's got a 70, a ICOM 7100. Okay. And that's VHF, UHF, and HF all together. It's basically everything you need except for your antenna because it has a power supply. Um, to go out on a de expedition or to go out to a park. Um, that is so awesome. We, I like doing park That's activations. Awesome. Okay, now I'm curious because I'm not familiar with this. What if I wanted uh, maybe a Yezu radio instead of the ICOM? Can you guys swap those yes, out? We can, especially for this one. We have a special design for that's the ICOM all in one, we call it. We also have a Yezu all in one, and in the past, um, we've traded out other radios. As long as it'll fit in the space, we can install it and get it ready for your specifications because everybody wants something different because they not, might not be into park activations or they might not need all of the things that come into the 7300 settings or so, something like that. So if I called so, you up, you could customize one for me. We could, yes. Perfect. We've done that lots in the past. Now what's the box back here? That one is for, especially during contests, we have the CQ Worldwide, the all, all kinds of contests that for, for big DXers, you'd want to be able to go out to a remote area that people want to talk to, so you'll be the multiplier. And this allows you to take out your radio to go out into these places, but also have it protected. So this one is just the HF radio in there, as well as your tuner. Um, but this one and the all-in-ones, there's not really room to have a power supply. Right. And also when you're going out into the field, sometimes you don't want your power supply to be all together with your radios because if you're out camping you might not want it in your radio because at night you might not be operating you want a fan or you want something else to be to be charging so that's why we also have over there a lot of uh, a lot of power supply solutions so that it doesn't have to be all together and that, that was going that, that was going to be my next question how am i going to power these if i don't have the battery built uh built in so mm -hmm. can you show us some of your power supplies as yeah, well sure. outstanding 
Okay, so what do we have here that we're looking at on the table? These, we call them Solaris solar generators because they're not only a battery for your power supply in there, we also, when you're out in the field, you have the option to plug it into a solar panel to, to recharge your battery so you can keep contesting or keep DXing all night long, um, well, all, all day long, and then have your battery recharged so you can operate during the night as well. So these, you just plug it into solar. The battery, this one's a 60 amp hour, and this one is a smaller 30 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, and BioNO makes the batteries. So they're installed in there to protect it, but then they also go through a solar charge controller on the top. And I really like this solar charge controller, honestly, because it gives you so much information. It's the Buddy Pull Power Mini. Uh, if, if you're not familiar with it, I would definitely check it out, especially those of you who are looking to, to have solar capabilities, because this will allow you to see how much battery you have, uh, how much you've charged down your battery, how much you've put in with solar, and it allows you to make that decision if, if you're out uh, in an emergency or you're out for a de-expedition. If you're not making a lot of contacts, if the bands are dead and you don't have a lot of sun, so you're not recharging it as fast as you're operating, you can say, hey, I get to go see the park or in an emergency I can take a break and then come back and at the green line maybe it'll be a little better then so that you can make those smart decisions to let your battery last and to recharge it. Right, so, so it lets you just kind of stay on top of how much yes. power you've got remaining in your battery. Yes. Outstanding. And we have different options because again, everybody's going to be different. Some might need to have the bigger capabilities so you can run other things like there's a USB port on top so you can recharge your phone. There's on the side, there's the power connections, there's even uh, you can recharge a laptop if you need for logging softwares. Anything you might need to charge, you can basically charge it with this. Nice. <laughs> so it also has a work light, which I guess you can kind of see better on this one. Right. That way, out in the field, you actually can see what you're doing. Because in field day, we have learned that it's hard to see. <laughs> it's hard to operate in the door. It's hard and I'm to assuming... log. So yes, <laughs> that was. These are all just little lessons that we learned. So we learned that you should really include a light somehow because you need to see your radios, you need to see what you're writing down, or you might even need to use it as a search and rescue light because you can carry this just like a suitcase. Oh, move our mascot. <laughs> you can carry this just like a suitcase and use it as a flashlight if necessary. Outstanding. That's just one little LED light? Yes. And it draws very little power, so this light will last you months on a full charge battery. That is awesome. Hope, thank you so much for taking out time and talking with me today. Yeah, well, thank you. All right. Enjoy the rest of the ham fest. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys, that's it. We will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3. 73. 73.